Hello parents and a happy uh, early Thanksgiving. I wanted to take you on a quick tour of the room. Uh, many of you will see the room uh, when you come for conferences, but I know there are some of you who are not gonna be able to make it. So I wanted to make sure you got a quick glance at some of the things that are going on in our classroom. First and most importantly, our giant Thanksgiving turkey. We started by making the uh, chain links for this turkey. Everybody worked on that. And then we filled out the feathers for what we are thankful for. And they are lovely little sentiments from your kids all the way around the turkey for all the wonderful things they're thankful for, their friends. They're thankful for the fire station, for coloring, for families, for their moms and dads and brothers and sisters, for the color blue and for our beautiful world. Just some of the many lovely things. On this side, these are some of the uh, topics that we have been covering in the last six or eight weeks of school, some special charts that we had made. We have talked about what it makes, uh, what makes a good friend, some really sweet ideas there. We've talked about things that we are grateful for. That was one of our wow words this week. It ties in perfectly with Thanksgiving. We also talked about what makes us special. Each person found something about themselves that makes them special. Um, we have two of our class books. So when you come on the tour, these will be here for you to look at. And then we have made our community. The last two weeks we've been talking about what makes a community and what are the places in our community. And so this was the list that we came up with, one of the wonderful places we have here in Swickley. And so each child was assigned one of those places to draw and then we all helped fill in all of the details as far as the roads and the cars and the parks and the trees and the stop signs so we have the playground which is war memorial park we have friendship school we have the candy store the penguin bookshop uh, saffron supermarket starbucks the tall movie theater fun by the pound the jewel thief the pastry shop uh, gather uh, the hospital and then over here we have a uh, taco place naughty taco we have the ice cream store the confectionery the fire station the police station and of course the Swickley library and lots of other fun details rainbows and trees and people's homes ambulances and cars all drawn on here this is on display when you come for your conference and we'll have it up here for a while. And then behind us on the line are our shape turkeys. So the children had to choose a body shape. It was either triangle, trapezoid, or hexagon. And they had to cut out the head and that body shape that they chose and glue those on. And then they got to pick the different shapes that they wanted for the feathers, either rectangular or oval. And then they got to pick their uh, legs and their feet. The, ones that, uh, the only ones that they did cut out were the, the two middle ones, the body parts and the head. That's a lot of different shapes for them to cut at this point, but they were able to identify all the shapes and put their turkeys together. So as you can see, my favorite thing about pre-K is that everyone is a little bit different. We did talk about the waddle on the turkey, so all the turkeys have a waddle. They all have their eyes a different color, whatever color you wanted to choose. Some drew some little things on their pictures. And again, some had bodies that were trapezoids, that were triangles. This one decided to be all blue, so the blue turkey, even blue eyes. And we have this one here, all rectangular feathers. And then this one with the oval feathers. And a lot of this is about the step-by-step -step directions that we go through to put these things together to see how well that one has hair and to see how well they listen and follow directions. So these are great. These will be ones that you can take off the line uh, and take home with you. So inside our classroom, let's just go in back here towards our back door. All right, so our Lego table is set up once again. It was the dollhouse for a few weeks. Here we still have the fire station. That's gonna change to something else uh, after the Thanksgiving break. Our light table, we've been talking about uh, shapes, and so there's um, trapezoids in there to make hexagons. Of course, our Play-Doh is very popular, and the pet store, which is our new place that we've had for the last two weeks, has been a lot of fun. 
the kids have really been enjoying taking care of all of Mrs. McAdam's pets. Compliments of my son Caleb and all the stuffed animals he collected over the years. Here's where you can buy things for your pets. We have a fish tank back there, not real fish of course. Places where you can pay for your items. And then we have a grooming station over here where you can wash your pet here and dry them off and brush them over here. And a little checklist so that you know what you're doing with your pet when you groom them. Then over here, as we normally do, we have some fun math activities in this center and we have some puzzles and fine motor things like lacing with beads and magnetic ABCs. We've been pinning feathers on turkeys here behind here are colanders and the kids have been filling them with the turkey feathers and then we've been feeding the turkeys so they take the tongs um, and feed the feathers or feed excuse me the food into the little hole in the turkey the turkey lays like this and they use the tongs to lift and put this in and give it a little tap and it goes inside. Great for fine motor skills, strengthening those um, pincer grips. And then here we have our crayon sorting. We're still working through the large number of crayons that we had for no crayon left behind. Here's our groups of 10 that we've been counting. Not too many more. That box was completely full when we started, so we're making progress on that. These are letter bins that we do each week. We take the letter bin out. The kids can open this and the items that are in here match the things that are on the mat. And so it's reinforcing those vocabulary skills and the sound that letter makes. So it's key, koala, kazoo, and all those fun little items are in these bins. And the kids can take out any of the letters that we've already gone through. Super fun. This is our writing center table, which is also gonna be the conference table for tomorrow. This is a very popular place. Lots of fun things to do here. You can see we have a nice collection of art on the wall. Plus, uh, this will change. Van Gogh was our artist. We don't do one in um, November because we're super busy. Uh, our artist in December will be Tchaikovsky. We'll be talking about a composer um, in December, which will be fun talking about the Nutcracker. Here, oh, boy, um, thank you so much. I'm used to saying boys and girls. Thank you so much, parents. This is our amazing, amazing uh, pile of snacks that we have collected thanks to you and your extremely wonderful generosity. So these are all the snacks that I'll be taking over to the Center for Hope over the Thanksgiving break. So thank you for that. That is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Here is our magnetic ABCs, reinforcing those capitals and smalls so the children find the capital and small letters and put them under the correct one on that magnetic board. And then when your child is the me bag person for the week, it was Henry last week, their items are on display here. And the letter person brings their me bag, their items are on display here. And here's our book corner. These books will be changing out to Christmas books, holiday books, that's hard to believe. There's two of our letter friends. We have a koala in our tree because Miss K brought some koalas and kangaroos when she came to visit. So one of those koalas to climb the tree. And of course, here's our circle time as we normally have it. And we are finishing up Miss K and starting Mr. D. That first week we're back after Thanksgiving and we'll also be doing some fun things with Christmas songs, getting ready for our show in December. And these were our wow words for this past week, tying directly into our food drive, which is contribute, serve, volunteer, and grateful. One of my absolute favorite words. And over here, you'll see, in talking about communities, this was our uh, chart that we were looking at. These charts are amazing because you pull these out and there's all kinds of wonderful conversations you can have about what's going on in the picture and our wow words often correlate with the things that we see here. And so this was a fun way to start talking then about Swickley and all the things that we see in Swickley in our community. Then we made our own that was out in the hall. Here's our five vowel letter friends, Miss A, Miss E, Mr. I, Mr. O, Miss U. They are all similar because they have red shirts with little suns on them. That's how we've learned they are our vowels and there's a very special use for each of them. So last but not least, 
when you come in, you'll get to see your child's self-portrait that they drew at the very beginning of the year. Sorry, that's a little shiny. These I'm actually gonna hold on to, and they're gonna do another one at the end of the year, and you will get to see both side by side um, at our last conference in May. So I think that's about it. That's just a small tour. We'll look forward to seeing those of you who are able to come for a conference. Again, parents, thank you so much for all that you do. Um, have a very, very happy Thanksgiving with you and your families. Uh, I am so very thankful for all of you and everything that you do for your children. So thank you.